In Ezra 8, we see Ezra leading a group of exiles back to Jerusalem, an undertaking that would be filled with danger. Yet instead of relying on human strength or wisdom, Ezra calls the people to a fast, to humble themselves before God and seek his guidance and protection. He knew that their journey's success depended not on their numbers or their abilities, but on God's favor. It says in Ezra 8, verse 21, And there by the Ahava Canal I gave orders for all of us to fast and humble ourselves before our God. We prayed that he would give us a safe journey and protect us, our children, and our goods. Now, if we just stopped there, we might think that Ezra has it all together. He was a great man of faith and strength, which he was. But if we read just a little bit further, we also see this kind of internal crisis of humility and faith that Ezra faced. He says he was ashamed to ask the king for help because he had already told the king that God's hand of protection was on them. Ezra may have been tempted to ask for help from the king, but the key thing to remember is that the foundation of Ezra's leadership was a deep dependence on God, a trust that God was with them and he would see them through. We too face journeys in our lives that seem insurmountable. We may be tempted to depend on our own strength or wisdom or the strength of others. But Ezra's example reminds us that our first and most important step should always be to seek God's guidance and protection. Our ultimate security lies not in our abilities, but in God's unchanging character and his unfailing love for us today. May we humble ourselves, seek God's face in prayer and fasting, and trust that he will guide and protect us on our journey, just as he did for Ezra. And remember the words of Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take.